Hi, I'm Peter Hentz, and I was one of the concept artists on Cameo 2. Cameo 2 was a planned sequel to Cameo, Elements of Power. Set in a world of high fantasy, the project was to be a departure from the bright, innocent-looking themes we explored in the original. Cameo's world had changed, and sinister forces were at work, much like Dorothy's return to Oz in the 1985 film. Cameo had grown up, and despite her bond with nature, she herself had been touched by the darkness enveloping the world. We wanted her new character design to reflect that. These images show a more mature Cameo, and her demeanor is far more threatening. In some images, she looks wraith-like, with pale skin and a monstrous shadow. This was to be a significant new transformation that she could undertake, and would see her drawing power from her inner darkness to defeat her enemies. We investigated how the character's clothing might have evolved too, using different cuts, textures, and colors. She'd wear a long cloak that would allow her to conceal herself in shadows. From there, she could sneak up on unsuspecting victims and ambush them. We also mixed in original costume features with new designs. For example, Camus still wears her bone ornament and jewelry. This was another aim for the art team and its character design, that of taking old elements and mixing them with new concepts. The creatures, while still recognizable, are now more ferocious. We created several versions of Chilla, more aggressive looking, with ice spines protruding from his back and great claws curving from his hands, ready to shred his enemies. Atomite was also back. We tried a few different ideas for the projectile launching shell on his back. One was quite natural, another was mystical with floating pieces of geometry. Another took cues from H.R. Geiger's Alien. The creatures that fought alongside Camu held the same screen presence, and because of this, we had to up the ante with our enemies. Taking well-known characters and turning them on their heads was an aim of ours in Camu too. What you thought about someone might not be the case anymore. Unlike her role in the first game, the mystic has become dark, twisted, and evil. She's one of the main antagonists and leads a race of serpent creatures called the Sargothans. This warrior race posed a huge threat to Cameo's world. Strong, fast, and fierce, each Sargothan was like a team of fighters unto itself, formidable, especially when fully armored. The trolls would also be back, except now they were driven by technological advancement, much like Saruman's drive for industry in Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. We continued the storyline for the Whatnot book, where it had been stolen and its power turned to evil uses. Ortho, the entity that lived inside it, had been separated, and so we created versions of him with the characteristics of the book still fused in his design. His skin a papery texture, pages and text scrawled across his face and body. Quite a departure from the character you first met. All the work here shows the strong potential the project had. Although Cameo 2 didn't get the go-ahead, the concept team is still proud of what we managed to achieve in the time frame.